welcome back. It's time for another book talk video. Today is Throwback Thursday, and I'm throwing it back to 1993-2003 to look at the plays Angels in America. Tony Kushner wrote an amazing masterpiece. It's really a play in two parts. Part one is Millennium Approaches, and part two is called Perestroika. I was reminded of this work of literature listening to Courtney Farrader's YouTube videos recently when she mentioned it was possibly her favorite book, her favorite work of literature, and I thought this would make a great play to talk about for Throwback Thursday. Kushner tells a story of people who are dealing with the AIDS crisis, trying to make sense of the world around them. It's a really provocative play. It's a really intriguing play. As always, I like to give the disclaimer that I feel the plays are meant to be seen as a performance. Odds are you're not going to find a place putting on this play because it's about six hours long with the first part and the second part. But you can watch the film version, which is truly powerful. All of the actors, actresses in this work brought their best. They do an amazing job performing these characters showing the themes, the characters dealing with their desperation, dealing with their doubts, their shames, their difficulties, trying to survive in such a difficult time and with some really extenuating circumstances. And this play shows the good, the bad, and the ugly of the people dealing with the AIDS crisis. You've got a man whose lover has left him for what is a really intriguing character, Joe, an ex-Mormon political conservative who is a married man. You've got Joe's wife, Harper, who is dealing with the fact that she married a closeted man. And then my favorite character in the play is Roy Kahn, portrayed by Al Pacino. This character to me really stands out. He is full of self-hate. He is full of anger. He is bitter. He is an actual historical person, though this is a fictional recreation of the infamous American Roy Kahn. And I don't like to use words like evil when talking about real historical people, but Roy Kahn comes across as one of those people in history who I think a lot of people would label as evil. A very bad man who did really really horrible, atrocious things involved in a lot of political corruption, perhaps political scandals, conspiracies. He was an attorney, but also there was a lot going on with him. And he refused to admit that he had AIDS. He refused to admit that he had sex with men, even with his doctor. You see in the play, private medical conversations that are confidential in which his doctor is telling him, you know, I need to treat you. I need to understand your circumstances. And basically he's saying, I've known you all these years. I've been your doctor for so long. I've treated you for all of these things. I know what's going on. And still Roy Khan refuses to admit who he is and what he does. And it's really crazy. This work of literature, I realize has some bizarre parts to it. The second half meanders some. There's a lot that is spiritual and or dreamlike with the angels and the scenes are done beautifully in the film version. But people who like very realistic plays might get a little thrown off by the abstract nature of some of those scenes. But it's balanced by the realism, the sadness, the tragedy, where you see characters who have to do things inspired by real life events during the AIDS crisis, like stealing medicine to try and help people that they love and care about. Ultimately, I think that this is an important play for people to read or watch. Really, it's better seen as a performance to understand that time period and understand how the AIDS crisis hit the world in a way that was completely unexpected and how people really did not know how to cope with it, how to deal with the situation in a world that was so homophobic and also sexist and racist that there's so much going on in the place. I highly recommend it as a great work of literature. I hope 
hope that you've enjoyed this throwback Thursday. Every day is a good day for a book talk. Peace.